Hello, in this video we're going to look at the exponential family of distributions, specifically the multinomial distribution. And in order for it to be a part of the exponential family of distributions, we have to fix n. Like we, and this is similar to what we did in the binomial distribution, we have to fix n. Now this is a follow-up video from this one here where we derive the mean and the variance of an exponential family of distributions very generically. And so what we want to show in this distribution that the techniques in this distribution where I mean that work for a generic exponential family of dis, you know, that it works for the specific distributions within that. So the first thing we want to do is show that the multinomial distribution will fit into the uh, exponential family. So here's the, the uh, probably mass function for a, a multinomial distribution. So there's k parameters, so p1 through pk, x1 through xk are the number of observations that fit into that category. And this is a, uh, you know, the number of ways that it, that, you know, possible happen. And uh, there's some restrictions that the xi add to n and the, and the pi's add to 1 or sum to 1. Then this one, if we if we start here and try to work it into an exponential distribution or an exponential family of distributions, it's sort of hard because it's overparameterized. And so what we do is we work this information into this uh, just, you know probably mass function. So this we can we can leave the same, but here the last p, so pk, so it's p1 through pk minus 1, the last p we're going to replace with 1 minus the sum of the pi's from 1 to uh, k minus 1. So the, so it, it's the sum of all these, you know, subtracted from 1. And so then, of course, these all add to 1. And we're going to do that with the xk, too. We're going to n minus the sum from 1 to k minus 1 of the xi's. So the so the sum uh, of all these. And that way these x's add to n. Well now what we need to do is take the log of everything and then exponentiate it so we don't uh, change it. Now this piece comes straight down. And we take the log and then we take the exponential of it and it doesn't change it. But the property of the log, these are our product. So it's the sum of the logs and the exponent comes out front on all of those and then this one here is the log of 1 minus p the sum of pi and the exponent n minus the sum of the xi come out front now this next step is, is multiple steps <laughs> so what we do is the this function of the data comes here and we multiply this times this and this log times n. Now this times n comes down to here. Then, then this times each of those, so that's the sum. So there's an xi common in all these. So what we do, let's say for, for instance this term, we factor out an x1 from here and an x1 from one of these terms. And then we get x times the log of pi minus the log of 1 minus the sum of pi. But minus means divide by, so that's how we get this. And we do that for all k minus 1 terms. Now, from, from this point to here, I am going to uh, use, use a little shorthand or actually just be lazy where this sigma sign is always i equals 1 to k minus 1. I'm going to leave off the index just because I think that it just it makes it so busy that it's not, it becomes di distracting. So on all these sums it's i equals 1 to k minus 1. Now to put this in exponential form I like to put it in, in vector notation and so the, the, the first piece here can be written in this vector notation where this is this and then each term is a 
component of this vector. So there's k minus 1. And then the respective uh, terms in the front is just x1 through xk minus 1. And then this is in what's called exponential form. So this is a function of the data. This is a function of the parameters. This is a function of the data. And then this is a function of the parameters. And this, is, this term is actually called the log partition. Now to put this in what's called exponential, or not exponential, canonical form, we have to reparameterize these. So instead of calling it log of P1 over the 1 minus the sum of the PI, we're just going to call that A to 1. A to 2, A to 3, all the way to A to K minus 1. So this is going to be reparameterized like this. Then the then the X's come down, and these are actually what's these are the sufficient statistics of our of this exponential family. So now this log partition, we have to write it in terms of a to one through a to k minus one, and to do that, we do it like this. Um, and so the if we were to plug in what a to one through a to k minus one are into here, then when you expand this back out, it goes to here. So I'm going to leave that as an exercise and just we're going to assume it's true, which it is. Now, this is, uh, this is what's called the canonical form of the exponential family of distributions, where the eta, I'm going to call it eta j, is equal to this. So it's the log of pj over 1 minus the sum of the pi's. Now notice that this right here, it's the sum from 1 to k minus 1. So one of those is actually equal to pj, you know. Now, be, since it's in canonical form, we're going to find the moments of the, the sufficient statistics. So let's, let's generically find the mean of the jth sufficient statistic. In this case, it's the xj. Now, to find the mean, the theory says if we take the log partition and take the partial derivative with respect to a to j, then that's going to be the mean of this xj. Well, the log partition we found to be this. Now we need to take the partial with respect to a to j. Now, since the n is a constant, it'll come out front. So since it's the log, it's 1 over this and then times the derivative of that. So that's where we get the 1 over the, the this. And now the, the sum, I'm, I'm lazy and just call it sigma but that's i equals 1 to k minus 1. And then the derivative of this inner piece with respect to a to j, and there's only one term there, and so we just get e to the a to j back. Now, what we do is we stick in what we know about a to j and a to i, and then simplify it. So this one here, so this is the log of pj, divided by 1 minus the sum of the pi. So the law, the e and the log cancel, and we're left with this. Now here, we're going to use, I skip a step, but to go from here to here, we're going to use two more times in this talk. So I'm going to go through it in a little more detail, and then go quickly later. So if we put in what we know about a to i, so that's the log of pi divided by 1 minus the sum of the pi's. So the E and the log cancel. So we're left with the sum of PI divided by 1 minus the sum of the PI. Now the bottom part is not indexed by this sum, so it can actually come out in front of this sum. So then we're left with the sum of the PI. Well, that's what this piece is here. So it's the sum of the PI, 1 minus the sum of the PI. Now, if we want to add these two terms together, we have to get a like denominator, so 1 minus the sum of the pi, divided by 1 minus the sum of the pi. So then we, we have a like denominator, but the minus sum of the pi cancels with this plus sum of the pi, and we're just left with 1. So now when we invert and multiply, that cancels with this, and we're left with n and a pj. And actually, we know that that's the mean of the jth component. It's n times pj. Now the variance of the jth sufficient statistic 
is the variance of xj and we're and we could put in a one here or a two or a three and so we're just doing it generically the jth order statistic that means and since we want the variance that means take the second partial derivative of our log partition function with respect to j a to j now we just calculated the first derivative with respect to a to j and that's what this is or this right here now we need to take the second the second derivative with respect to a to j so many of you in the quotient can easily do that but for some reason I like to do it in the multiplication reason so I take this and write it I take raise it to the minus one half so now when we take the derivative it is the um, it's the first times the derivative of the second and then plus the derivative of the first times the second and that's what we get here that's why there's a square there because the derivative of this bring out a minus and then um, then it becomes minus two and anyway so that's how we that's how we get this so now what we do is uh, so then we then we have to plug in what we know about eta uh, j's so eta j eta i remember and then what the trick that we did here to go to um, to here is what we're going to do twice so this becomes this and that piece becomes this piece now we simplify so this simplifies to it minus n times pj squared and this simplifies to plus n times pj and you can factor out an n and factor out a pj and it becomes n times pj 1 minus pj or like n pq in a sense and this is what we know the variance to be for a multinomial distribution now the covariance between any two statistics you know any two sufficient statistics I mean we're going to say j and k so the covariance between xj and xk is actually the partial derivatives of the log partition with respect to a to k and a to j now we've already taken the derivative of the the partial with respect to a to j up here and then when we got that so we're going to cheat and just plug that in here and then now we'll take the partial with respect to um, a to k so now um, this is a constant so it, it can just think just keep it out front and then it's minus one times a constant you know then minus two that's where we get the squared here and then times the um, a to you know to the k now we plug in what we know about the a to j's and the a to i's and so this this trick here becomes this the what we did up there uh, minus n a to the j just becomes log of pj sum of one minus or one minus the sum of pi and this is pk over this sum so then when you add these fractions you get one over uh, one minus sum of the pi but it's squared so when you invert and multiply it cancels with these bottoms and that we're left with minus n pj pk yep well anyway that's all i have for today hopefully you enjoyed that i sure did please uh, like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye